Arawaki vendors are breathing a sigh of relief after the Prime Minister loosened COVID-19 restrictions, allowing them to offer outdoor dining to customers once again. Cleopatra Murphy reports that vendors say most of the 32 businesses' establishments there had been closed for the last several months. The once busy Arawaki is no more after restrictions due to the COVID-19 pandemic forced vendors to shut down several times. Even since they have been allowed to reopen with curbside delivery and takeout, Vice President of the Arawaki Conk Fish, Vegetable and Food Vendors Association Lillian Laramore Smith says business has been extremely slow. She says the news of loosened restrictions could not have come sooner. I am totally excited for the restrictions that have been dropped. I never gave up and we had about seven persons left on our wacky that were opened and I continued to encourage them to stay open. So finally, yesterday, our first day, I think we had a success. Now it's, it was only about 10 to 15 percent of the people returning, but we had zero. So I am so excited and I know that the people of Awaki are also excited. Just seven of 32 establishments remained in operation and Laramore Smith fared she would be the last one standing. With the weekday curfews now pushed back to 9 p.m. and the weekend lockdown relaxed, she expects locals will return. Just having some people who social distance coming, it's a start. And those people, because of the economy now, we know things are really, are really on a downhill. So those persons who have funds, we're asking them to, in, in, in sight, come out, do something for us because we've been here for eight, nine months dying. Popular stall owner Kirkwood Goldie Evans says he wants to hug the Prime Minister, estimating that he lost 80% of his business due to the COVID-19 pandemic and restrictions on businesses. He says curbside service was not suited to the area. The fish fry designed for people to come and sit on and eat and whatever. You know, so it was a big challenge because you even couldn't sell alcohol and beers. You understand what people want to sit on and have a drink. They can't sit on and have a drink, so it's hard to even sell a, a, a cold beer now that people could come out and sit on and eat, you could sell a few drinks. Another stall owner, Dario Williams, says he has already seen an increase in business with more customers showing up on Monday. He says he can now bring staff back. Um, I had about staff at 12 to 14 and all was off for the whole time. I'm just getting ready to bring some back in on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm getting ready to bring some staff back in so they can make up some days. The vendors are hopeful they will not be forced to shut down again. To ensure that does not happen and that they can support their families, Laramore Smith says they need the public to help. And so I'm appealing to all Bohemians, all the whole general public and to the tourists at last, that when you come to fish fry, practice social distances, wear your mask. Um, if you come, you only can come in a group of five to sit and, and then, you know, limit your time because other people want to come to fish fry. Cleopatra Murphy, Sadness Network News.